Hello everyone, welcome to SQL problem solving series. So we have a new problem here and this is quite interesting one. So you can see here write a query identifying the type of each record in the triangles table. So this is the table present here with the name is triangles. There are three columns present and the type of each column is a integer type. And for example, you can see the sample input. So we have three columns A, B and C and we need to determine. So these are the three sides of the triangle. So the triangle they have a property like if the three sides are equal then it will be equilateral if the two sides are of equal length it will be isosceles and the three sides if they are different from each other that would be an scaling triangle and if the two sum of two values is less than the other value then three values won't form a triangle so we need to differentiate each of the row which is present in the triangle database into isosceles equilateral scaling or it cannot form a triangle so let's see how to proceed with the solution so the very first thing we'll do so uh, the logic which will be applying here would be similar to the if else condition if i would say so the corresponding to if else condition is equal is the case when statement so case so first of all we will try to see whether the values present into the three columns can they form a triangle or not so the statement would be something like case when a plus column b is less than or equal to column c or column a plus column c is less than equal to column b or column b plus column c is less than equal to column a then with this condition it cannot form a triangle so we would just copy paste this like the output which we would want to get so i would just copy this thing here and then so i would need to add here a then for the first case we have got this statement so let us proceed with the other cases so the other case is let us see whether the three sides are equal or not so write the condition so when a is equal to b and b is equal to c and if c is equal to a then it would form a equilateral triangle so i would just copy this from here also and i would paste this so that's it let us move to the other condition and that is forming the isosceles triangle so we need to go into a sequence you can see so when a is equal to b so we would need to add here or condition because if a certain row so it would follow a certain sequence so first of all it will check that whether the three values can form a triangle or not so okay if the triangle is able to form then it would check like whether the three values form a equilateral triangle and then it would check whether the three values will form a isosceles triangle or not so likewise it will move into a sequence so we are checking this into like this manner so will be applying so earlier we used the and condition because each of the three uh, sides should be equal so here we'll be using the or condition because any of the three two sides we want it to be equal so we would apply that particular condition here and then i would just add here the isosceles triangles i would just copy this from here and paste it into the output and we are left with the very last condition which is uh, whether the triangle is a scaling triangle or not so for the scaling triangle we have the condition that neither a should be equal to b and b should not also be equal to c and c should not be equal to a so if this is the condition then our the last criteria is this should be a scaling triangle so we'll write this particular condition and i would just end this and i would write from the triangle database i'll run the code so i think i've written the wrong spelling so i would just correct this so we'll again run the code you can see we have got our correct result so friends this was a very interesting formula so we use the case when statement and how we use it in a sequence manner also so friends if you had found this video useful do like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't so meet you in the next video thank you so much